I believe 2023 is going to be rough worse than 2022. We're going to have a supply chain shortage. We're going to have an increase in our food prices at the grocery stores. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever it is for you. How are y'all doing, cousins? Thank you for being here today. So we're going to jump right into it. Again, I welcome you and Happy New Year to all of you. If you are new to the channel, thank you for deciding to be here. So with the food shortages from 2022, a lot of people think that, well, we won't have that in 2023. Is that so? Mm -mm -mm. Not so fast. We are still dealing with these food shortages. We are still dealing with inflation the price has increased on so many things so even if you do find those items nine times out of ten you will be paying more for them it is best that you do start stocking up regardless of what the cost is set that budget if you possibly can i know everybody so while a lot of us cannot afford to do that we are going to have to find that money some where cut back somewhere um so food shortages may get even worse in 2023 that is the article that i am talking about so let's dive into this article before i do please help this channel out by doing a few things hit your like button subscribe if you have not and share it out and y'all feel free to comment down below and talk to each other about it what you're seeing in your area um Let's help each other out as much as we possibly can in 2023. You know, each one, teach one. So if you were hoping the new year would mark a renewed era of abundance for the U.S. food system, we have some bad news. The various food shortages that define the past 12 months, butter, baby formula, eggs, are not only expected to continue, but experts are also predicting that they could get even worse in 2023. CNBC reports an economic recession is likely to hit the early months of the new year as inflation, environmental catastrophes, and ongoing fertilizer shortage continues to wreck havoc. We've been talking about this all in 2022, that things are going to be worse, but to actually see it written is a whole new thing. So a Tennessee dairy farmer and outspoken agricultural activist, Stephanie Nash, recently told Fox News, I believe 2023 is going to be rough, worse than 2022. We're going to have a supply chain shortage. We're going to have an increase in our food prices at the grocery stores. I repeat, this is happening now. What are you going to do about it? I've already started preparing as much as I can. And I hope and I pray that you are doing the same and that you share this video out with your family, your friends, your other social media, so that they also can get on board with making sure their household is stocked up. The Tennessee dairy farmer, who is a frequent critic of farming regulations, added that inflation is not expected to end anytime soon as Americans are really going to be hurting in their wallet due to the increase in food costs. The supply chain is struggling to keep up with demand. According to the USDA, the global fertilizer crisis prompted by Russia's invasion of Ukraine has directly affected crop production for farmers. The government predicted that this situation will become more dire in 2023. But guys, that's not the only thing contributing to the food shortages. Unfortunately, increasing environmental disasters are also contributing to the food shortage in a major way. Fox Business explains that California's devastating drought has led to empty rice fields and a 10% loss in viable farmland. Simply put, lost agriculture revenues from lost crops means less money and land to produce the foods we place on our dinner tables. Everything from milk industry around to almonds has been affected. 
And as if that wasn't enough doom and gloom for you guys for the 2023, but we're going to look up. But first, we got to realize that these things are running short, okay? Bread, vegetable oil, corn, butter, tomatoes, champagne, flour, beef, and more will be hard to find on grocery shelves in 2023. And once we realize that those things are going to be short, and it's going to be other things that's short as well. And we start stocking up, staying stocked up, rotate through our food pantry when we create it, keep those items updated, label them, then you will be okay in 2023, no matter what happens. So let me know what you think down in the comments. Are you planning to start stocking up in 2023? Did you stock up in 2022? Are you finding things harder to find? Leave some comments down below. Give people tips and ideas if somebody has a question and maybe I haven't answered it or because I didn't see it or whatever. And I thank you guys again for joining the channel, stopping by. I hope you stick in there and I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay prepped up. Prep today so you are prepared for tomorrow. between life is a riddle yeah and i 